check one, two, check, check. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The 706. So you might have noticed that we took a little hiatus over the past few months because, as you know, things have gotten crazy. On top of that, we're getting ready for baby number two to get here, so, you know. But now, we're back. So that makes this episode five, and we're calling it Making the Most of a Saturday in Dalton, Georgia. We say Saturday, but realistically, most of these things you could do on any day. There's just one of them that is Saturday specific. With that being said, this will also be our second rendition of things in Dalton you may not know about, but you probably should. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, let's uh, jump in the truck, head to our first spot, meet our guests for the show, and get this thing rolling. See who our guest is today. Oh, hey. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Jonathan? So I was told there would be an all you can eat buffet here, so that's why I'm here. All you can eat buffet? Yeah. Farmer's market? Have you seen it? So our first stop today is here at the Farmer's Market downtown, the corner of Thornton and Wa. I just wanted to let you guys know about this and and uh, so yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, this is my first time here, so I'm excited to kind of go through here and uh, see what they got and uh, maybe get some food. The Farmer's Market is open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and also on Tuesdays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and will run through September. You will find a variety of locally grown produce, homemade goods, and handmade products. All right, so we're uh, we're done at the farmer's market. We got some honey, some jelly, got one of these awesome waffles from Sweet, Sweet and Simple. Our next stop, we're gonna go try a new uh, new barbecue place in Dalton and, and check that out. Then we're gonna hit up a couple other places, and so stick around. So lunch wasn't originally part of the script for this episode, but we enjoyed the food so much that we decided to give Trinity Barbecue a shout out. Trinity has a fun variety of menu options that any smoked meat enthusiast can appreciate. Make sure to stop by and give them a try. Tell them that we sent you, and maybe they'll give you a free air high five. Um, so now we got some food in our belly. It's time to head to our next spot. We're gonna need it, we're gonna need some energy. Uh, we'll see you when we get there. See you when we get there. All right, so we're here at our next spot. Uh, we are at Hag Mill Lake Park. Um, not only is Hag Mill a great place to come out here, uh, hike or run, uh, and check out the beautiful scenery, but also during the summer, they also offer kayak rentals. So this is actually gonna be my first time kayaking at Hag Mill. Jonathan, on the other hand, is a veteran of Hag Mill Lake Park kayaking, and uh, he's gonna fill us in on uh, what it's like out there. Yeah, so we, we've been out here a couple of times, me and some friends. Uh, but before this place opened, uh, we used to have to go, uh, gosh, we've been to Calhoun, we've been all the way out to Carter's Lake. So in order to be able to have this experience, you used to have to go quite a ways, at least we did, uh, to do that. So this is really special to have this in our backyard. Uh, you get out there, it's nice and quiet. Uh, we've been out on the lake and just sat for hours, just kind of just relaxing and enjoying the view. So uh, if you haven't been out here, I'd highly encourage get out here ASAP. All right, so we've switched over to the, uh, the Osmo action. So the, the audio quality will probably change a little bit and we're walking down the hill. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty easy. You just go to this building right here, pay your money and they'll uh, send you down to the dock, you get a life jacket, get a, a kayak, and then you hit the water. So we'll see you soon. All right, so we're going to attempt to take the drone off um, from this dock and try to film ourselves in the water. We got this. Hopefully, uh, I don't ruin my drone. So we'll see how it goes. 
I was told after filming this that kayak rentals will be moving to Saturday and Sundays only from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and will go through about mid-September. Hi guys, so I would definitely say put this on your Daltonian bucket list if you haven't done this yet. Uh, you got to check it out. What's crazy is I've filmed a bunch of people doing this, but I haven't actually came out here myself. So I'm glad to finally check it out. It's so peaceful out here, uh, so calming. Um, and for like 10 bucks an hour, you can't really beat that. Uh, you, can, you can buy your own kayak, go out here, some people up, but if you don't have the means, the space to keep a kayak, come out here and during the summer is uh, the next best thing. So check it out, and uh, we'll see you at the next spot. Okay, all right. <laughs> so here we are. We're at our last spot for the day. That first vlog about the buzzard roost was such a success. We thought maybe you guys would like to see another trail here in Dalton. So that's what we're going to show you. We are at the Disney Trail. Uh, no relation to Walt Disney. I'm not going to give you any information right now. I'll uh, put a voiceover over the footage to kind of explain the Disney trail because <laughs> I don't I don't know the history or everything you know that great. But uh, I will read something and, and write something for a voiceover. So rumor has it that this trail well, it says right here that this is considered the most challenging short trail in the state. And so it's been about ten years since I've done this and a few more hamburgers ago. So we're gonna see how I do on this. It's probably gonna kick my butt, but we'll see. Let's do it. The reason the trail is named the George W. Disney Trail is because George Disney not only died on this trail, but is also buried at the top. His grave was discovered by a Dalton Boy Scout troop in 1912. They restored the gravesite and created the trail. The trail has been enjoyed by locals and hiking enthusiasts for over a hundred years. All right, so that part of the trail is actually pretty easy. This is where it starts to get a little difficult. So it is this steep, if not steeper, the rest of the way up. So we're gonna try to trek this thing out and uh, we'll, we'll fill you in along the way. The trail is about a mile and a half to the top. It is on a steep incline and is not for the faint of heart. There is a bench at the halfway point if you do need to stop and take a break. There's one small section where you'll have to do some climbing, but it's fairly easy. All right, so you're gonna get to a spot on the trail where uh, it seems like you're at the main spot where there's like this great view here, which there is, but you're gonna come up to uh, right here and there's this little bitty skinny trail. And uh, you're gonna turn on this trail and that trail is gonna take you to the grave and the trail keeps going. And once you get past the grave, you follow that and actually takes you to the main view at the end of the trail. All right, so you know, the buzzard roost is awesome. And uh, it, what makes it awesome is that 360 view that it has. But you know, the Disney trail, it ain't too shabby either. Getting outdoors does wonders for the mind, body, and soul. With so much uncertainty from day to day, it's more important than ever to disengage and decompress whenever you have the opportunity. This episode just goes to show that there are countless adventures waiting for you right here in D-Town if you just take the time to seek them out. Everyone stay safe out there, be kind to one another, and we'll catch you next time on the 706.